Okay, so kinesiology is technically the study of, of the movement, human movement. Um, a lot of times you'll see some different phrases used, like, like exercise science or exercise phys or kinesiology. A lot of times they're sort of describing the same type of program. Um, here we have exercise science undergrad and we decided to name the grad program kinesiology to give it a little bit different, differentiate it a little bit, but it's sort of along that same track. We're studying uh, how the body adapts to exercise. He's going to be trying to move heavier weight and it's going to actually go at a slower pace for force development, whereas power, we want to have it more explosive. So we, by actually seeing how fast we're moving, we can know if we're in the velocity that works either more strength production or power. So basically this one we can either measure the leg strength by putting them in a leg position where they're just extending the legs or having the legs more straight and extending the back to look at the back strength. And for the strength conditioning it's more performance based. For health and wellness it's looking at we have students that are in cardiac rehab placements and they're looking at like how does cardiovascular exercise build back those systems that have been compromised that people are coming back from surgery or cardiovascular disease. Um, so it depends on the focus, but the, the way the body reacts and the science behind it is sort of similar. It's just how you're applying it. I mean, really everything goes back to what we call the SED principle. So it's specific adaptation to impose demand. So for example, with Jake and Justin and strength and conditioning, they're looking at a sport. And when you start the sport programming process, you look at what do you want the outcome of the athlete to be? So a basketball player, I want to be able to run up and down the court fast, uh, repeatedly without tiring down, I want them to jump high. So things like this allow us to make sure if we're trying to train for power, that we're training at a fast enough pace to produce power. Because pure strength is more just the muscle, but the muscle works together with the nerves, that neuromuscular system. And the faster we can enact that muscle, the more power we can produce. And this is just a way of making sure we're accomplishing that demand on the body that's going to cause the body to adapt and produce that um, outcome or adaptation. So usually in exercise, it's all about putting the proper stress in the body and then progressing that stress appropriately. If you stress it too much, you injure. If you don't stress enough, then you're not really even giving the body a stimulus to change.